it could soon mean a stark change in the fiscal relationship between First Nations and the federal government. Under proposed changes by Trudeau's Liberals, gone is the system where First Nations had to disclose detailed financial statements to the government in order to get certain government funding. In its place, a system where some First Nations can apply for grants up to 10 years to pay for everything from housing to education. FSIN Chief Bobby Cameron says getting rid of some of that red tape means more will get done on Saskatchewan First Nations. The bureaucrats are stalling so many things from education to health to justice. I mean, the list goes on and on. But while Cameron welcomes the move for less bureaucracy and more self-governance, he says he's disappointed these changes are happening behind closed doors. If this really is a redefinition of the financial relationship between First Nations and the government, he says there needs to be more consultation, especially with First Nations here in Saskatchewan. The move not only means more stable cash for some First Nations, but there also won't be the same kind of annual public reporting previously required by the Harper Conservatives. That's something the Taxpayers Federation does have concerns about. For First Nations, just like any other community, to be constantly filling out forms for bureaucrats probably isn't the best use of time or resources. We've always got to look for ways to streamline that. But you have to start uh, with accountability and transparency. You have to make sure the grassroots people in that community uh, know what's going on with the money. If all goes according to plan, the government says 100 First Nations will be able to apply for this 10-year grant by April 2019. But the details are still very much up in the air. Cameron says he won't be able to throw his support behind the plan until he actually sees those details and knows which First Nations are going to get the cash. Charles Hamilton, CBC News, Saskatoon.